Hello everybody and welcome to Love Live Nijigasaki High School Idol Club episode 12 anime review. So this week we went some way to towards repairing uh, everyone's opinion of Ayamu. Like, in my opinion, I don't think they quite did enough. I think she still came across... Uh, yeah, still came across. Leave that in, it's fine. Uh, came across as quite, you know, a little bit creepy. I'm just going to put it... I'm just going to put it blankly. She came off a little bit creepy, a little bit selfish. Obviously, they made up by the end, and that's full. Kind I almost think they made up too soon. I wouldn't have minded if they had let it go on till next episode, and maybe had everyone be like, what's going on, as opposed to just Setsuna, and everyone else just doing about their own thing, really. That's the one thing I will say. Like, they don't... I mean, they're not a group, but they don't feel as close as the, you know, the previous series. Uh, maybe that's just me, though. Maybe it is just because, you know, hey... They're not a group, so to speak. Uh, but who knows? But for right now, let's get into the episode, see exactly how everything went down, and do this thing. So we pick up roughly where we left off at the end of last week's episode, which in case you forgot was Ayamu being, being a bit of a yandere, let's just call a spade a spade. So after what just happened, you know, the the bed tackle and all that. Uh, Ayamu leaves after, I think it was Yu's phone vibrates, basically because, hey, Yu's, y other people need to talk to you, you know, it could have been anyone, it could have been Setsu, it was probably Setsu, no. But it could have been anyone, that's the important thing, and Ayamu's like, I'm gonna go now. And now things are just weird and awkward, and it's just really odd. It's a good thing those, those were the only two walking it together at that point, because, man, if the others were there, they'd be like, okay, this is, this is weird. You know when you, you're with a group of friends, right? And like two people are being really weird toward each other and everybody can tell but no one quite knows what to do? That's what it would have been like. These two are the, those two friends, I think. Ayamu hooks Yu's arm, like, like you know, grabs her arm. And I'm like, okay, uh, you, you're being a bit possessive and creepy there, Ayamu. You need to stop. That's, you know, that's not, you did not give consent for that, I'm pretty sure, so knock it off. If she didn't hook her arm, I apologize, but it damn sure looked like it, even though she was like a bit behind her. First I thought she was going to touch her butt, and then I was like, why would Love, Love Live wouldn't do that? But, you know, I guess that shows my brain is in the gutter, bottom left, as they say. Back to the meeting right, the meeting uh, you goes with Setsuna, talk to the other schools. The other schools are in for the School Idol Festival, that's a good thing indeed. They've also got every venue, apparently the Student Council helped them get that, so I guess they worked out the logistics so the school idol club wouldn't have to who would you trust the most with working it out in the school idol club uh not not kasumi that's that's pretty much all i've got maybe not kanata either those two everyone else is pretty i feel like they could do it i'm i'm, I'm double checking in my brain yeah just about i'm gonna say yeah i'm gonna say that makes sense just no, definitely not kasumi uh she she doesn't uh, come across as particularly clever. Is that mean? Can I call her a really not clever? That's a bit harsh, maybe. Festa was going to be fun during this whole meeting, though. You, it, you, every shot it shows you, she's just staring into the distance like this, forgetting what they're talking about. It's it's not important because she's distracted. And Setsuna's is like, damn it, what the hell's going on? Ayamu is with the others and they got to go practice. And Ayamu is also distracted. They're all in the, doing in a circle at a huddle and they're like, yeah, let's do this thing, guys. Ayamu is just sat by the by the window, staring out the window over, the, over there, like a like an anime protagonist. Like, oh man, I'm just thinking about how my day is going and everything. Uh, however, before he goes to practice, all the members are pulled out one by one by their other friends, by their fans, whatever you want to call them, until it is just Kasumi and Ayamu left. And Kasumi is pretty distraught because her fans haven't haven't come together. And she's like, Ayamu, it's just you and me. We gotta we gotta practice. And then Ayamu gets taken, and Kasumi's like. Am I, am I the worst? Do I have no fans? And then someone comes to get her and she's so happy. Thank, thanks, Kasumi, for some comedic relief. At least you are not a Yandere. You are a... I, I don't know what kind of Dere you are. I need to brush up on my Dere knowledge, uh, apparently. So Ayamu is meeting with her fans and they're discussing, you know, what can we do to show everyone how amazing you are? What other things can we do and make the performance better? What other things we can do? I think one of them mentioned that I is going to do like a food stand, which... Okay, fair enough, I guess. Uh, now, now, Ayamu is having a little think about, you know, everything that's happened. She's like, I'm so embarrassed because of what happened yesterday. I'm like, Ayamu, you, 
a bit scary. Setsuna, meanwhile, asks you, like, okay, you, what is up? And you're like, whatever do you mean? And she's like, yeah, 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 cut the crap, all right? Uh, she's like, we're fine, you know, me and Aimu, we're fine, don't worry about it. And Setsuna's just like, well, you're not fine. Because if someone says they're fine, I'm going to say it's 75% of the time, maybe higher. They are not fine. Um, you spot Aimu and it's like, okay, I'm going to go sort this out. And you think this is where they're going to make up. They're like, we need to talk. You is serious about this. And you is like, I have a dream now, you know, and it's great and everything. But Aimu, you know, you try to tell her and Aimu selfishly refuses to hear her out. Terrible behavior by Aimu there. Uh, and you, you has just this distraught look on her face. Like, I thought we were friends. I thought you'd be happy for me. And I'm like, yeah, I agree. I agree you. It's bad for you. Um, and then she refused to hear out the reason is because then they won't be together anymore. And, and you know, you, you try to say, that's not how that works. And I was like, that is how it is, you know? And it's like, no, it's not how it works, you know? Especially, yeah, when we find out what you's dream is later on, it is like perfectly... Bal not balanced, but it's the perfect excuse for them to stay together forever. Ayamu, am I missing something? You completely flew off the handle there. Uh, which is a little bit strange, I think. Um, you eventually relents. He's like, okay, well, I guess I'll tell you another time then. You know, because Ayamu starts, starts crying a little bit. And I'm just like, I feel bad for you here more than I feel bad for Ayamu. Like... I feel like I'm meant to be feeling bad for Ayamu, but I don't. I think she's being really unreasonable. <laughs> like, is that just me? or do, 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 do people agree with me there that Ayamu's being unreasonable a little bit? Like, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. We then get a montage of all the girls prepping their individual shows and everything, which is good. No one, they have a meeting a bit later on. No one's going to tell each other what they're doing because it's exciting. You're going to find out later. Uh, Ayamu, though... Hasn't decided what she's doing yet. Meanwhile, you gets uh, asked for help by one of Ayamu's fans, Ayamu's kohais, uh, you know, the one that she was talking to earlier. Ayamu, you know, doesn't know what to do, as I said. So Setsuna is like, hey, can we talk for a minute? And I'm just thinking, okay, Setsuna is going to gonna push them forward and we're going to sort this out. Uh, she says, hey, you got to meet forward to meet your fans' expectations. This actually was kind of weird. I didn't, again, I feel like I missed something here. I was like, I can't move anymore because at first I only wanted to do it for you, but now I love all my fans and it's great and, you know, I'm not just doing it for you anymore. Uh, and she's feeling distant from you, but then at the same time she doesn't want you to... I guess maybe she feels like she's losing you, but the, 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 she got the fans as well and also you's like the manager, she's not going anywhere. Maybe it's just me, I, I, I don't really get her argument. Like, maybe that's the point when you're emotional, your arguments don't make sense, but, um, yeah... Setsuna says, hey, we have to see this through to the end. And apparently that is enough to motivate Ayamu. And then she's back to relative normal, you know. And it's just like, okay. You know, I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like they should have... I don't want to say explained it better. Because I feel like I've, I'm just missing something here. Maybe I've misunderstood the, the conflict here, so to speak. But I thought Ayamu was jealous because you was, you know... She wasn't just hers anymore. She was with all of them now. Because, you know, the whole club needs her. But now... It seems more like Ayamu doesn't want to lose you, which is fair enough. But then she's she's also like loves her fans as well. So why is that even you know why is that relevant? It feels kind of weird. And then Setsuna saying we just got to get through what we started. Basically, I don't see how that resolves Ayamu's problem. If that makes sense, maybe that's just me. maybe again I've completely misunderstood. Let me know if I have. I I, I appreciate all the help you guys can give. Um, it's uh, it's much appreciated. Much appreciated, always. But she she runs, she's all motivated. There's some, uh, like, a trombones, I don't think it was a trombone. There's some stuff playing. She's just some running. She's happy now. Where's she going, though? She's going to find Yu-Chan. Yeah. So Yu was with the Kohais making the stage for Ayamu's performance, which they do. It's all flowery. What's the floral language? They do some of that. These flowers mean love, the yellow ones. Because they all love Ayamu. She's great. And then Yu gives a pink one. That means the feelings never change. Basically, hey, no matter what happens, I ain't going anywhere, you know? Uh, which is which is nice. I like that part of it. I like that part of wrapping up because I feel like that sort of, you know, I might I might do other things, but I'm, I'm still your best friend or slash, you know, lover. I don't know what to say. I feel like they, they, they upped the, um, 
the Yuri bait in this one. Like, the others were like, okay, I could kind of see it, but I could also not see it. This one, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I can't not see it, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it is. They are, they are, they are, they are romantically involved. Even though they're not, obviously, because they can't do that. Whatever, you know, it's not a problem. It's just like, it felt very more overt. Much more overt than the other series, I would say. I'm not a big shipper myself. Uh, used to be, back in the day. Back in the day, it was only like a few years ago. But uh, whatever. They're best friends again now. There's big hugs going around and everything. The fans wanted in on the big hugs too. And I'm just like, you're ruining their moment. What are you doing? Um, you says she thought she was cute from the start. And then Ayalu blushes. It's like, did, did we stumble into a different anime? Is, is this Citrus? Is this like Blooming to You or something? I've never seen either of those shows. But I know they're Yuri shows. So, uh, you know, there's good reference. Uh, and then there's some there's some lewd hand holding, it's it's very like you know it's 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 it is basically a romance anime at this point and everybody else is just kind of there you know if we get like everyone like you and Aimu being lovey dovey in the club room and everyone just being like they're gonna make me vomit you know that would be funny you could see Kasumi being like stop it stop it you're 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 offending me it's too sweet um, but no then there's there's the feelings are one, because they're all going to be performing on different stages, right? I've completely derailed myself here. Uh, and uh, and they're, but the feelings are going to be one, even though they're not together. So what I think they're going to do for the final episode, it's going to be like, they're all they're doing their individual performances, but what we're going to see, it's going to be one song, and then we're going to like cut between them, and then it's going to link up. That's kind of how I see it going, because we haven't had a group song yet, except the opening and the ending. Um, so maybe that's where that's going to go. Uh, I am and you are like, you's like, I got my dream thanks to you. Oh, it's playing music, by the way. She wants to, like, be a musician. I, I don't think I mentioned that, but as I said, perfect reason to stay with Ayamu, because if Ayamu is an idol, and then you play, makes the music so you can compose the songs, like, it seems like a really easy workaround. Maybe that's just me. Um, Ayamu climbs the steps. I liked this. That, like, in, like, like, mirrors the first episode, she climbs the steps, she sings another song. It's all right. It's pretty good. Um... I, again, I'm not going to talk too much on it because I'm bad at talking about the songs. Every day is fun. Let's walk together forever. Very nice, pla not platitudes, that's the wrong word. Nice things to end on. But then we have a post credit scene uh, after that. I don't have much to add on it. It's you plays the piano for Ayamu and then Ayamu compliments her. My guess is that the song she was playing on the piano is going to be a song. Like whether it'll be next episode or in a theoretical season two. Which, you know, I don't know when or if we're going to get, because next year we're supposed to be getting the the new group. What are they called? Super Superstar is the anime name? I forget the actual group name. It got announced the other day. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll get a season two of this then. So who? maybe it'll be alternating years. Maybe 2022 we'll get Nijigasaki season two. Or maybe we won't get a season two. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that was where we ended the episode. Uh, I, I enjoyed this episode. I mean, I enjoy every episode, but I kind of, like, a part of me was, like, a bit lost. I was like, Aimu isn't making much sense here. Maybe that was just me not understanding her troubles. But, uh, yeah, they went, they tried to, like, rebuild her image, I guess, because I think a lot of people, I mean, I, the couple comments I read in my comment section were a bit like, Aimu is kind of weird, you know, she's kind of creepy. I'm not, I don't like her as much anymore. So I guess they... Maybe, I don't know if that was the general consensus, but they went some way towards rebuilding it. I don't think she's all the way there. I think she came across a little bit selfish a lot of the time. So uh, maybe that's just me, though. But for right now, let's go to my favorite part of the episode and see what it is. Uh, it might surprise you. It's probably not an important thing. Well, it's not an important thing in the episode at all. But it's a thing that made me smile. So my favorite part actually has to do not with you or Ayamu at all, but with Kasumi. So the part, yeah, where Kasumi is freaking out because everyone's getting taken, and then, you know, Ayamu uh, is the last one taken. Just her facial expression, she's really funny, is Kasumi. Like, really funny, I think. She's like, she is the perfect comedic relief. I just kind of wish she was used for more than just that, because she of often is the punchline to jokes. And I like Kasumi, so there's that. Next episode is the final episode of the season. They're doing the School Idol Festival thing. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get, you know, nine songs. Like, nine individual songs. Although that would be kind of crazy if just the whole episode was just like, hey, here's just a bunch of songs next to each other with little bits of other stuff in between. I think what it's going to be, it's going to be like one group song, but it's going to be like as if they're separate, if that makes sense. Like, each verse will be, it'll cut to them, do their performance, and then they'll sync it up, uh, you know, 
at the at the end for the chorus or whatever. Maybe I don't I don't really know. That's kind of what I think though. Again, could be wrong. Uh, love to be wrong. Love to be right too. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. Anyway though, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and stuff for more reviews. That would help me out a lot. Comment what you thought about the episode. Do you still think I am a little bit creepy, a little bit obsessive, a little bit not stalkerish? That's the wrong word. Uh, what's the word I used? Yandere, that's a good word. Uh, selfish is the word I was looking for. Let me know what you think. I don't actively dislike her though. I feel like I've, I've given her a bit of uh, a bit of crap, but uh, no, she's still all right. She just has dropped considerably, I think is how I felt. I was like, oh, you know, she was she was like up there. And now she's like, oh, okay, I am a, yeah, you, you, you're down there. I mean, it's tough competition, you know, everyone. Generally with Love Live, there is no, I don't think there's a single Love Live character that I actively dislike, so, you know, it's tough competition, you can't be acting all selfish, Aimu, you drop, but anyway, I'll see you next week for the season finale of this, so take care, and bye guys.